Were Arsenal robbed going into the Bayern Munich tie next Wednesday of a potential 3-2 lead? Because Bukayo Saka is brought down by Manuel Neuer. That is the question of this video. We're going to break down, obviously, what was an enthralling 2-2 draw between Arsenal and Bayern Munich. Leave your comments down below. Much appreciated. I'd love to get your thoughts on it. It's so split. And unless I'm missing anything in terms of the technicalities about the game, uh, obviously the referee blew up. There's this kind of weird extended period of time where we're not sure if the game can continue because the, the final whistle's been blown or if they're going to take it back to VAR. And he does the former and he ends the game early. Let me know your thoughts down below. And by the end of the video, we'll discuss if Arsenal should have had a penalty because it's absolutely crazy. We're going to start off with uh, the goals uh, and my observations about Arsenal in what is a huge game for them. The context is massive. I'm sorry. Uh, Arsenal haven't been at this stage of, of the tournament in so long. We all know that. For Mikel Arteta personally to guide Arsenal to, against Bayern Munich, at points they matched them. Uh, at points they, they played really, really well against Bayern Munich. I really believe that. And we saw that earlier. I mean, Arsenal in dreamland when Bukayo Saka gets his little ball, it lands perfectly on his feet and he just curls it into the bottom right of the corner past uh, Manuel Neuer. What a start. Could you be a little bit aggrieved by the lack of control that Arsenal showed after that? Obviously, the classic trope in football is that you're as vulnerable uh, at any point in the game when you scored a goal, and Bayern Munich ripped through Arsenal a few minutes later um, with a, a beautiful Serge Gnabry strike. Uh, the ball from Goretzka, the ball from De Ligt, I think it was, that plays through uh, the Arsenal midfield, through the, the Arsenal back line, rips through them like a knife through butter. I don't know if Arteta will look back and be aggrieved by how Arsenal showed, maybe not experience, because Bayern Munich can do this to anyone. They're European champions. The narrative in Germany, as much as Bayer Leverkusen are the narrative for how exceptional they've been, they're invincible at the moment. The narrative is also about a fall of a giant, the, 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 the flounderings of a, a side of so much quality. This is not a Bayern Munich side that have got rubbish players and are doing poorly. We, we saw that maybe in the in, in the early 2000s, in, in, the, in the latter 2000s, before the 2010s and before Heitner's came in and players, uh, managers and players like Schweinsteiger came to fruition. Um, but this Bayern Munich side are packed with talent. Nabri, Muziala. Uh, Goretzka, Kimmich, the best keeper in the history of football, in my opinion, Emmanuel Neuer. Um, so this uh, this Bayern Munich side is what I'm trying to say is they've still got quality and the, and the narrative around them is, is because of how good they can be on their day and, and they showed that. Will Arteta be a little bit aggrieved by the, the lack of maybe control that um, uh, Arsenal didn't show at points, uh, particularly when they just scored? You have to let me know in the comments down below. Uh 32 minutes, Harry Kane, of course, he scores against Arsenal. It was written in the stars. Uh, Roy Jennings obviously predicted this. As soon as Harry Kane, as soon as Harry Kane went to Bayern Munich, he predicted that he'd score against Arsenal in the Champions League. How crazy is that? It really did come to fruition. Uh, great little penalty. Um, it was a penalty. I know Saliba, um, I think it was Gabriel that brings him down. Uh, it was Leroy Sane running a beautiful little run through the box. Again, knife through butter. There were moments where Bayern Munich will be very, very confident at the Allianz Arena with how they could they could tear through the Arsenal midfield, tear through these young, you know, relatively young centre-backs that have never played at this stage before. It does take a couple of years to be seasoned pros at this level. It, it takes a couple of years. It took a couple of years for Ruben Diaz to turn into centre-back years. It took a couple of years for Sergio Ramos to get settled at Real Madrid, for example, when he was younger. You, you need a little bit more experience on your side. If you're, if you're an Arsenal fan watching this, let me know what you think. But um, not bad performances today from Saliba and Gabriel, but um, I think the way Bayern Munich sliced through them a couple of times, that would be concerning in the away leg for Arsenal. Um, Trossard, what a finish. Uh, he comes on. Will he be aggrieved? He didn't start the game. He's being used as a super sub at the moment. Obviously, came on against Brighton, I think it was, and scored a beautiful little finish. Um, and he has been used on the fringes of the squad for large parts of the season. Um, obviously, Martinelli, Saka had spells. Obviously, Saka scores. Um, I think he'll be aggrieved he didn't start maybe over Martinelli, who's just come back from injury. Uh, I know Martinelli offers maybe a little bit more pace, a bit more balance, and more of a settled front three, especially with Havertz that can come short and you can play Martinelli around the corner. But Trossard, what a beautiful, beautiful strike. Um, 
at that point, I think Arsenal would have taken a 2-2 if they didn't know what was going to happen later in the game. Um, I think the way Bayern Munich showed so much devastating force, I think Arsenal will be a little bit happy to just keep that at arm's length and keep it 2-2 and hope that they can pull some form together going into the away leg. Let's be real. Arsenal are very, very good away from home. It's different going to Sheffield United. It's different going to West Ham United versus Bayern, of course. If they can carry these principles on in these games, uh, keep a narrow kind of triangle of Declan Rice, Gabriel Saliba with Rea behind who at points today looks a little bit out of sorts, a little bit caught in no man's land. If they can get the kind of Ben White, Kirill, keep that narrow and get Saka to hit on the counter because don't forget Bayern Munich have to go and score. No away goals means that Bayern Munich have to have, to have impetus. They'll have a lot of control of the game but Arsenal were prepared to you know do that against Man City and had the best chance against Man City. So if they can do it against Man City, they can do it against Bayern Munich. They can be compact, they can be narrow um, and I really think Arsenal got a fantastic chance at the Allianz. Now, they'll be aggrieved, Arsenal, no question about it, because I think Saka should have had a penalty. Let me know your, your thoughts down below. But I, I really do think Saka, he's running through. Manuel Neuer does a good job of not making it look dramatic. He does a good job of looking like he's stopping. He does a good job of looking like he's not trying to clear him out or he's being aggressive or he's trying to boot the ball. And he accidentally boots Saka, for example. It's none of that, in my opinion. But it's still a penalty because he makes clear contact. I think Saka does leave a leg out. But in modern football, it is a penalty. I'm sorry, lads. I don't I don't think you can genuinely say in modern football that isn't a penalty. It's a shame. I think Saka, you could argue, would want, you'd, would want to take it around the keeper, would finish it. And he's been denied that opportunity. And the way the ball went out the other end, and you just knew the referees were kind of, kind of draining the game out, so you'd have to make a big decision. That's what it feels like. They're kind of extending themselves so that the game could, you know, go into uh, the other end, add the minutes onto the clock, and shut the game down, so they don't have to do anything dramatic and keep it balanced. I think referees love draws, they, so no nothing stands out in their record books that you've given anyone a bad loss or a harsh loss. Um, and I think Saka deserves the penalty. And with the way he's been taking penalties this season, I think he would have scored it as well. He's definitely gotten over that little hurdle that he had last season um, of taking these big penalties. And I think he would have scored it. Arsenal fans were livid. Uh, I, th I think Arteta handled it really well. We've seen it. Big blow-ups. We've seen, um, I think it was Gus Hiddink or, 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 or you know the Chelsea side, that uh, Avram Grant maybe, the Chelsea side that were livid not to get to the Champions League final in 2009. Uh, might have been Ancelotti even. I'm not sure. But um, we've seen it before managers blowing up and kind of disrupting the harmony of the squad. Arteta was very cool, collected about what is, I think, an egre egre egregious decision. Saka was livid, which says a lot. I think, I know football pl football players want to, you know, sell things a little bit and football players want to be dramatic as much to try and earn the penalty. Obviously, Saka stayed down for a large while as well, a large period of time. But in reality, when a player's that furious, you do think there's something gone wrong. You do think something's gone wrong. So in my opinion, Arsenal have a... I, th I still think it's literally 50-50. I think the 50 for Bayern Munich is down to what they can do at the Allianz, but I think Arsenal can keep them at bay and hit them on the counter-attack. I think Arsenal got to maybe utilise Partey um, a little bit earlier in the game, a bit more power, a bit more presence in midfield. And I think Arsenal got an absolutely fantastic chance of getting to the semi-finals of the Champions League. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you very, very soon.